So in this question, we have Beta Motor Company, and they are creating a state-of-the-art new solar-powered car, right? How cool. Obviously, they're going to need an R&D team to go in and figure out how to build this thing, right? And that's what this question is focused on. What types of expenses that are listed here can be classified as research and development and ultimately expensed in the income statement as incurred? So we'll go through and figure out which expenses qualify as R&D, total them up, and that will give us the correct answer. So on the first one, salaries of laboratory employees researching how to build the new car. Right, This is occurring in the R&D phase. They need to pay employees to go into the lab and figure out, okay, how can we build this thing? We don't even have any designs or prototypes yet. And that's what they're working on, and that's going to qualify as an R&D expense. So the next one is legal fees for the patent application, right? That is once they already have the prototype, the product, now they're going through the process of actually uh, turning this into a viable product. And that is gonna be excluded from research and development. And it's actually gonna be probably capitalized as part of the asset here, right? But either way, it's not part of R&D, so we can exclude that. The next one is engineering follow-up during the early stages of commercial production. And then it says the follow-up occurred during the current year. Well, if they're already producing it, right, the R&D phase is done, right? R&D is research and development. It's not the actual production of the asset, right? So that's gonna be excluded as well. The next one is marketing research to promote the new car. Well, that is part of advertising or selling expenses, right? It's not part of research and development because they would already have the new car that they're then uh, promoting, right? So that's gonna be excluded as well. And then this last one says design, testing, and construction of a prototype. Well, that sounds like the research and development phase, right? Those laboratory employees, they're designing it, they're testing, they're ultimately coming up with a prototype that says, okay, this is what we're gonna build and we're confident in what we have, right? So that is certainly part of the R&D phase. So we'll include that. Therefore, the only two expenses that really get included in R&D are the salaries of the laboratory employees that are learning how to build this thing, and then the design, testing, and construction of a prototype, right? That totals to 650,000, and that will be the correct answer.